When local police departments are presented with international cases, oftentimes they're trained to tell their victim that unfortunately they can't be helped due to the fact that their suspect is overseas. With cryptocurrency, that's not always the case. My name's Jeff Gimento with the Cinnamonson Township Police Department. I'm a detective. My name's Rich Dice. I'm a detective with the Cinnamonson Township Police Department. Cinnamonson investigates a wide variety of crimes. It's everything from CSAM to fraud, to business email compromises, to cryptocurrency investigations, and the like. In this specific instance, an elderly female victim was contacted by an unknown suspect who was purporting to be some type of law enforcement official. The unknown suspect convinced our elderly female victim that her money and potentially her identifying information was tied up in a multitude of different transnational crimes. In order for our victim to quote unquote protect herself, our suspect convinced her that her money and her life savings and retirement would be better off in his or her hands as opposed to our victim's bank account. So our victim was walked to a variety of Bitcoin ATM machines, some up to an hour's drive from where she actually resided at, where she subsequently deposited large amounts of cash and sent them to Bitcoin addresses that were provided by the suspects. So working through the trace through TRM, it was a matter of minutes for us to be able to find the cash out point at a virtual asset service provider that TRM was able to identify through the tool for us. We were able to identify several other victims that had also provided large substantial amount of funds to our unknown suspect's Bitcoin address. Clearly our victim was not alone. Once we realized that our victim funds ultimately resolved to a foreign-based exchange service, our next course of action was to reach out and physically acquire those funds back from that exchange service via legal process. No hesitation at all. When we start these investigations and notice an international nexus, while it may be necessary to contact the feds ultimately, initially, the success you're going to find is a speed of action in identifying your suspect, freezing accounts, and pulling these funds back. It's not impossible, it can be done, and we need to focus on how to make victims whole. I think law enforcement has realized in recent years that it's extremely important to reach out and work with partners in the private sector that can allow us to leverage high-tech tools against high-tech crime in order to reach faster and more complete resolutions. Ultimately, the resolution for our victim in this case will be that she will be recouped about 75% of the money that she was out. And our victim hopefully will be able to go back to retirement, uh, which she previously was before she was defrauded out of her life savings. Thank you.